I've been reading about this for years and years, but this is my first time here. And I'm telling you, nothing, nothing prepares you for this experience. Beneath the weight of millennia in ancient China, a mystery lingers, an enigmatic tomb that has captivated explorers, historians, and archeologists for centuries. Sealed for thousands of years, it guards the secrets of a dynasty that shaped an empire and the legacy of an emperor whose name echoes through history. Now, scientists from across the globe unite in a quest to unveil the mysterious wonders concealed within this subterranean marvel. What secrets does the tomb of the Chinese first emperor hold, and why has it remained veiled for so long? Join us as we unravel how scientists finally open the tomb of the Chinese first emperor that was sealed for thousands of years. The Reign of Qin Shi Huang and His Legacy In the annals of Chinese history, Qin Shi Huang, born around 259 BCE, emerges as a commanding figure who rose to the throne at the age of 13 in the state of Xia, where his father had once been held captive. Qin Shi Huang displayed exceptional determination and a natural inclination for conquest. Guided by the brilliant advisor Lo and led by the skilled general Wang Zhan, he orchestrated a series of triumphs over adversaries through diplomacy, deception, and military prowess. Systematically, he subdued the six warring states, unifying China by 221 BCE and declaring himself its first emperor. Qin Shi Huang's ambitions extended beyond mere rulership. He sought to elevate the grandeur of his empire through sweeping reforms and ambitious projects. Standardizing the writing system, currency, weights, measures, and laws, he aimed to enhance administrative efficiency. A vast network of roads and canals interconnected diverse regions, fostering trade and communication. Notably, he commissioned the construction of the Great Wall, a formidable barrier stretching thousands of kilometers along the northern frontier to safeguard against nomadic invaders. However, Qin Shi Huang's motivations transcended territorial power. He harbored a fascination for the unknown, launching daring expeditions. His life met its conclusion during a routine inspection tour in 210 BC, marking the end of an era in Chinese history. Most Intriguing and Enigmatic Legacies Among the most intriguing and enigmatic legacies left by Qin Shi Huang was his mausoleum, known as the Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor. Concealed for millennia, its secrets remained locked away until the 20th century, with the story of its discovery commencing humbly in 1974. Local farmers, seeking to excavate a water well, inadvertently became pioneers in uncovering a global sensation and a site of paramount archaeological significance. Ying, a resident of Yang Village, and his fellow workers unearthed terracotta fragments while digging, initially unaware of their value. The farmers promptly reported their discovery to local authorities, capturing the attention of Chinese archaeologists. Preliminary expeditions were dispatched to investigate the site, gradually unveiling the initial scale and potential importance of the find. Soon, systematic excavations, guided by the Archaeological Institute of Shanxi, began earnestly, marking the beginning of an extensive exploration into the mysteries buried beneath the earth. Findings The experts upon their investigation were left astounded by the discovery of a vast subterranean complex, housing an entire army of life-size terracotta soldiers, horses and chariots, meticulously arranged as if poised for an eternal battle. This awe-inspiring find, now known as the Terracotta Army, became an archaeological treasure showcasing not only Qin Shi Huang's ambition, but also shedding light on a fascinating chapter in ancient Chinese history. Transforming the region into a bustling hub of cultural exploration, the site holds monumental cultural and historical significance. Recognizing this, the Chinese government swiftly invested in its preservation, presenting it as a testimony to the grandeur of China's ancient legacy. In 1987, this extraordinary complex, comprising the mausoleum and the renowned Terracotta Army, earned the prestigious designation of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The history of the mausoleum's construction suggests a chilling narrative. Over 700,000 individuals were conscripted into service and subsequently met their untimely demise to safeguard the enigmatic secrets. What does the mausoleum represent? 
the mausoleum represented a monumental endeavor, one that is believed to have spanned several decades in its completion. The sheer magnitude of such an undertaking necessitated the concerted efforts of thousands of laborers, artisans, engineers, and craftsmen. Moreover, the mum's inner chambers and the renowned terracotta army within were intricately designed and meticulously crafted, underscoring the immense dedication and craftsmanship invested in their creation. The notion of 700,000 conscripts no longer appears in implausible historical records, including the writings of the Grand Grand Historian Simon offer substantial evidence that such a vast number of laborers were indeed not just recruited but conscripted for this Herculean construction endeavor. Plausible Reasoning Why would a ruler go to great lengths to suppress the voices of hundreds of thousands of people? It is plausible that Qin Shi Huang forged a grand vision for his mausoleum, harboring state secrets, pioneering techniques, and treasures of immense significance, which the emperor wished to keep concealed. In ancient Chinese beliefs, the concept of an afterlife held profound importance, and safeguarding one's journey to the other world played a pivotal role. Protecting the sanctity and security of the tomb was paramount to the emperor as any potential leakage of information or revelation of the mausoleum secrets could imperil his passage to the afterlife and the endurance of his legacy. The idea of orchestrating mass executions to maintain secrecy is chilling, but skeptics argue that the coordinated extermination of 700,000 individuals would have been a logistical nightmare, causing substantial commotion and unrest. Proponents of the theory suggest an alternative perspective proposing that these mass executions may have occurred systematically over an extended period. It is surmised that groups of workers involved in constructing specific sections of the mausoleum could have been discreetly rotated and silenced over time. This could also be related to the legendary Terracotta Army as well. Terracotta Army The Terracotta Army transcends its role as a mere military marvel, offering profound insights into the rich socio-cultural tapestry of the Qin Dynasty. The array of soldiers, meticulously crafted to represent diverse regions and ethnicities within a unified China, serves as a testament to the emperor's visionary pursuit of a cohesive and united empire. This extraordinary assembly mirrors Emperor Qin Shi Huang's ambitious dream of integrating varied cultures and populations under a singular banner, showcasing a commitment to unity. Beyond the soldiers' stoic exteriors lies a portal into the technological advancements, fashion, and lifestyles of the Qin era. The intricate details of the tools, weapons, and attire of the terracotta warriors paint a vivid picture of the society's ethos during that time. The roots of this awe-inspiring army delve deep into the spiritual convictions of the emperor, driven by an unwavering quest for immortality. Emperor Qin's profound belief in the afterlife fueled his determination to create an army that would accompany him beyond the earthly realm, solidifying his aspiration to safeguard his dominion even in death. The emergence of bronze chariots and horses, discovered just 20 meters west of the famed Terracotta Army, adds another layer to this historical narrative. These colossal chariots, with their distinct designs and ornamentation, were not merely artifacts but purposeful symbols of power. The larger and bolder high chariot, drawn by four bronze horses, served as a war chariot. Intense debates. The unearthing of such remarkable bronze chariots has sparked heated debates among historians, each vying to unravel their mysteries. Some posit a symbolic role for these chariots, suggesting they ensured the emperor's afterlife traversal with the same authority and luxury he experienced in the mortal realm. Others argue for their status as scaled-down replicas, offering a glimpse into the technological advancements and preferences of the Qin dynasty. Crafted primarily from bronze adorned with opulent gold and silver embellishments, these chariots bear witness to the immense wealth of the era. Far more than artifacts, they symbolize pivotal components of the emperor's journey into the afterlife, encapsulating his unparalleled legacy and status. As scientists recently unveiled the sealed tomb of the Chinese first emperor, a startling revelation emerged a subterranean river of liquid mercury, aligning with historical accounts, notably chronicled by the renowned historian Sima Qian. The Record The records of the Grand Historian illuminates the Emperor's tomb as a lavish subterranean realm. 
This narrative vividly portrays the mausoleum's interior as an accurate representation of the emperor's expansive dominion, complete with a celestial panorama of stars overhead and a floor intricately etched with the topography of China. What stands out is the depiction of the region's rivers, including the majestic Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, crafted using flowing mercury. While the use of liquid mercury may seem peculiar today due to its toxicity, in ancient China, it held special significance, particularly for alchemists who believed it possessed the potential to confer longevity, even immortality. Emperor Qin Shi Huang's inclusion of mercury in his tomb underscores his unwavering commitment to the idea of living forever, a sentiment echoed in legends of messengers embarking on extensive journeys in search of a mystical elixir promising immortality. Captivating Aspect While much attention is often directed towards the magnificent terracotta warriors of the Qin Dynasty, there's a captivating aspect of the mausoleum complex that tends to be overlooked, yet it's equally enchanting. This hidden treasure lies in the presence of acrobats, entertainers, and musicians for historians and scholars. This vibrant ensemble offers a more comprehensive understanding of the emperor's desires for the afterlife. Ancient Chinese civilization entertainment held a lofty place. Music, dance, acrobatics, and various forms of amusement were woven into the fabric of courtly life, playing pivotal roles in religious ceremonies, grand celebrations, and royal banquets. It is only logical to assume that the emperor wished to carry the joy of these entertainments with him into the afterlife, ensuring an eternity filled with mirth and artistry. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts about the video in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for all future updates. See you next time.